Hi guys, I welcome you all to this new current affairs series which is brought to you by EduTap. Now introducing you to the new series, let me tell you that through this series we aim to cover the agriculture related news right from the month of January 2018. Now these news are going to be very important for the NABAD grade A examination and AF4 examination which is held under IBPS. Okay, so now see these uh, new series are going to be important for AF4 but uh, as in the NABAD grade A usually the questions are asked from the past six months current affairs. So though the content is not that much important for the NABAD grade A aspirants but this series will give you an orientation of the kind of questions asked and which would be helpful for you guys to filter out the important news and the content of the series is available in the PDF form in our telegram channel which is given in the link below. Let me just quickly tell you about our already running Navad Grade A course 2019. This course is the full video course which covers videos, notes, MCQs as well as worksheets. You can see the MRP which is mentioned here and uh, currently we are running a discount of 15%. To avail the discount you have to use coupon code EARLY15. So let me just quickly tell you about other courses which are offered by EduTap. Here we have RBI Grade B 2018 course, then RBI Grade B 2019 as well as CTET 2018. And we are also offering the UPSC course for Indian Economy for General Studies and it will be covering the syllabus for prelims as well as mains. So uh, moving on. Okay, so in this particular video, we are going to cover the agriculture related current affairs from the month of February and since this is the part 2, so in case if you have missed the part 1 of the February, so just go back and see that video also so that your entire month of February is covered. Guys, if you have any kind of query related to these particular exams or any other exam, you can visit our website anytime. That is www.edutab.co.in. You can even drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in or even you can call us at 8146-207-241. So let us just move to the first news of the day. Let us say uh, what does it say is. So our first news says Botanical Survey of India has inked an MOU with the Natural History Museum which is in United Kingdom. So I will tell you about this particular BSI in detail but uh, seeing through this news we can say that BSI and NHM have signed this MOU for the cooperation in the field of genetic and taxonomic studies so that research and training and conservation in particularly India can take place. Now uh, through this MOU both these nations are trying to work towards the goals of a CBD that is Convention on Biological Diversity, Sites and Nagoya Protocol. So these three are also important and uh, through this MOU BSI staff would be able to provide their expertise to NHM and vice versa. They will be able to visit each other's campus and provide them uh, the needed expertise. So particularly it is important for India as NHM will help BSI in the capacity building in the areas of systematic botany and long term conservation of the plant genetic resources in India. So that is why this is important for us. Now let me tell you about this Botanical Survey of India. So Botanical Survey of India is the apex research organization in the field of genetics uh, for the plants particularly. It is functioning under the MOEFCC that is Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change and for particularly the taxonomic and floralistic studies. So it was established long back at the uh, British era in like 1890. So you know the importance of such bodies is there. Okay, so let us move to the uh, uh, second news. Government launches six new user friendly features of ENAM platform. Now, you know, this ENAM particularly uh, mission is important for us because it is aimed at linking the uh, mandis of all over India. So let us see what ne this news says. Here the six new features of this ENAM are the mobile app, Bheem payment facility. So now the farmers, the buyers or sellers, they'll be able to pay through the, the Bheem app. 
secondly new and improved website with e-learning module so that you can go to the website and learn there as well there is this MIS dashboard and the most important thing is the grievance redressal management system so that any grievances which are given by farmers uh, a database will be maintained and it will be able to track them easily now this particular enam is a step for the prime minister's promise of doubling the farmers income by 2022 so um, uh, basically the objective is to promote the transparency competition among the mandis and the process goes well so let me just tell you about enam also okay it addresses uh, the challenges which i have we have mentioned earlier by creating a unified market all over india through this online trading platform which is at the state and national level so basically uniformity would be given to them and uh, yes important thing i would just like to mention here is small farmers agri business consortium sfac is the lead promoter of nam so it's a registered society which is uh, under the department of agriculture cooperation farmers welfare under the ministry of agriculture and welfare farmers welfare so you need to know about this sfac and this ministry under which it operates so another important news is from northeast it says first regional center for agriculture with israeli collaboration to come in mizoram now see this is not the first collaboration center in india it's in the northeastern region uh, otherwise we have 22 such operational centers already so this particular center is important as it will be exclusively for the processing of citrus fruits and thus catering to the need of the whole north east israel uh, the country would be providing expertise knowledge and professional support to the center so basically this first center was operational uh, in haryana that is in the year of 2008 so these were the important things uh, you needed to know about uh, this particular collaboration okay next news says government to launch govardhan yojana now let us see about this galvanizing organic bio resources bio agro resources dhan scheme so this was basically announced in the union budget of 1819 now this particular yojana is related for the managing and converting cattle dung and solid waste uh, in farms to the useful compost biogas and bio cng so uh, this is very important for us to know because this scheme will be beneficial to the farmers as well as the cleaning of the the villages and the surrounding areas now here i have mentioned that the scheme will be beneficial because india has a very high cattle population and it's around like 300 million in number so and it produces 3 million tons of dung every day so if this dung is utilized it will be changed from a waste to the useful resource as well as it will be helpful in keeping the city uh, keeping the area clean so a government launches second swajal yojana project in rajasthan now about this swajal yojana i will be telling you but you keep in mind this rajasthan so the second project of this yojana in rajasthan has been uh, come up the first is already operational in uttarakhand's uttarkashi district so here uh, under this particular swajal yojana four reservoirs will be constructed in the village and a common tap connection will be given so let me just tell you about the swajal yojana Okay so let me tell you about this Swajal Yojana it is a community owned drinking water program for providing the sustained drinking water supply to the community uh, basically it will be providing the clean drinking water to every household through a tap connection so the clean drinking water is the aim of this yojana swajal yojana as its name is the important thing to note down from this uh, particular program is that 90% of the project cost is to be borne by government and remaining 10% by community and the management of the project will be taken up by the local villagers so you see that how government is trying to push the local villagers and the local people in the uh, provision of drinking water to them that is why this scheme is important for us uh, now that was all about the scheme okay guys so just before moving let me tell you about the uh, link of the telegram channel please note down it and you will be able to download all the content sheet of this particular series from this channel so just go and download it and if you like this video please like subscribe and share thank you guys have a happy learning